Welcome back. Today was moving day for a piece of history with ties to the Lone Star State. The battleship USS Texas permanently left its longtime home in Laporte for a temporary move 35 miles down the coast to Galveston. At 110 years old, she is the only surviving battleship to have served in both world wars. Since 1948, the mighty T has birthed at the San Jacinto Battleground State Historic Site, where she has battled the surf and the elements. In recent years, a leaky, rusty hull has forced workers to pump out about 2,000 gallons of water per minute. That prompted the decision to move the ship to a dry dock in Galveston, where $35 million has been set aside for repairs. We were able to speak with Corpus Christi resident Nathan Gershon, who was on a motorboat near the ship channel in Houston today as part of an escort team for the move. Right now on the entire planet Earth, the battleship Texas is the only battleship in the world that is afloat and free of her moorings. And it's a pretty historic moment. I wanted to be a part of that. While her place in history is secured, the battleship's future is uncertain. Texas lawmakers gave the money for the rehab on the condition that the state will not spend any more money on the ship and no longer host it at the San Jacinto Monument, where it has served as a floating museum. That means officials with the Battleship Texas Foundation will have to find another site somewhere in Texas that can draw enough visitors and souvenir buyers to pay for the upkeep and operations. She's important to Texas. She's important to the history of the United States. Uh, a lot of people served on her in two world wars, and she's been an inspiration to many generations as a museum in San Jacinto since. Repairs to the ship are expected to take more than a year. By the way, the ship nearly sank on its last journey to Galveston, which was back in 1988, but Take a look at this. Thankfully, today it did arrive safely. If you'd like to help out with a donation, just go to battleshiptexas.org. So it made it from Laporte to Galveston, and everything looks a-okay. Wow, and just by 